Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Chris. Today we're driving a lifted 2021 Forester Premium. And before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification so you get notified when my new videos come out, and like this video so it gets pushed out into the YouTube algorithm universe. Let's do this. y'all we are in a 2021 Forester premium that's lifted two inches I believe it's on method or KMC wheels got some off-road all-terrain tires Thule kind of cargo rack and I'm just gonna kind of do a driving review here see how this feels I haven't driven a lifted Forester yet and it's been something I've been wanting to do this guy in front of me is going hella slow and his uh, lowered Inferno squad with an Imperial sticker on it. I'd say this Forester probably corners better than that thing does. Going around him. Peace. So, so far pretty, uh, pretty stable. It's a little windy today. Um, and I've always noticed that, for whatever reason, a lot of these lifted Subarus track funny. I don't know if it's uh, the offset on the wheels that, you know, this dealership puts on. They're always wider than factory, the offset is. But, see, it kind of feels like it was wanting to track to the left there. We got some railroad tracks here. Nice and smooth. Yeah, with the wider wheels, the, it feels more like squirrely. Not as uh, planted in square feel as a uh, stock. It, it does feel smooth. Like overall, it feels really smooth. This alignment or something is definitely throwing me for a loop or I'm used to true straight maybe the steering angle isn't exactly straight right now I've lifted tons of other cars in the past I've had like literally six or seven Grand Cherokees all of which I've lifted and um, those are always a lot more confident feeling when they're lifted this does feel a little a little unnerving, but it might just be this wheel offset, like I said, when you guys change to different wheel offsets, you really start to mess with more of the geometry, and um, overall, though, this is, it feels good. Now after I've driven a lifted Outback XT, handful of cross tracks, I would have to say this may be the my least favorite of the of the whole lineup because even the lifted ascent drive is pretty awesome. Um, unfortunately, as you all know, the right now the Foresters there's not an XT motor option so you're just stuck with the natural aspirated 2.5s for now so if you're gonna put beefier tires and if you don't go alloy wheels if you go steel wheels or whatever for the look off-road you know you uh, you're gonna be a little slower yeah this doesn't feel as confident around these turns and the thing about you know, Forester in general, there's really only one steering feel for the entire vehicle. So the steering feel will always be the same on this, and it's 
not a super close ratio. Again, if you're just gonna be, you know, adventure, kind of driving around, ooh. Yeah, it's pretty good on those railroad tracks. If you're just gonna be, you know, camping, traveling around, light trails, this will work out. Um, on the road, so far, with this particular setup, it just, is, to me, does not feel as confident in the turns, and that's kind of something I'm big on, is how vehicles handle all around, not just purpose-built, especially if you're gonna daily drive this. However, I will say it probably drives better than a Jeep Wrangler, because Jeep Wranglers handle like absolute tripe on the road, the straight axle wander all over the place and at least this tracks pretty true however I feel like they probably could have done a better alignment on it but it does track true and it's not dancing all over the road surprisingly not really picking up a whole lot of road noise from these off-road tires right now yeah, so far this is feeling pretty good on road. Not as not as confident as I was hoping it would be right out the gate. However, it's very, very smooth. And like other lifted tubers I've driven, it does have a nice cloud-like feel to it. So just driving around, keeping uh, SI drive on, it's still pretty peppy, even though the wheels are a little bit bigger. However, I think these uh, these methods or these KMC wheels that are on right now are lighter than stock. So that may be helpful in keeping up our, excel our acceleration. So as far as having your vehicle lifted like this, um, this is just from a dead stop. about on par with stock. So the Forester really does need a turbo setup in the future, you know. Um, really miss the XT models like I've reviewed in previous videos. I feel like if you're gonna do an off-road rig or like a street rig, something, having more power on this platform is definitely needed. It's nice to see that the Crosstrek got a bump and that the Outback has the XT now. As far as handling, I always touch on this with the wider wheels. Handling cannot, it, it doesn't feel the same. And it may throw some of you off. terms on a dime which is it's, it's actually awesome and just get sick doing this but the car is still gonna be relatively smooth and now you can actually have a little more ground clearance if you got off-road or more traction if you're in snow or weather It's not bad. It's not bad in this, uh, as far as for this just being a spacer lift, it handles pretty decent. I feel like there's a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of glide or wandering in uh, some of the turns since the wider track width is present. So yeah, guys, this is a pretty quick little uh, stint with a uh, lifted Forester. I just wanted to get it on driving review you know on road to kind of you know get some first impressions because I haven't driven a lifted one like I had mentioned earlier if you're thinking of doing this it's probably relatively safe um, if you're going to keep the stock wheel width I would recommend that 
or keep uh, your av your uh, aftermarket offset similar to stock unless you want something that is a little bit more aggressive it it will end up affecting the way the vehicle handles so just be prepared for that so again guys thank you so much for uh watching this video please subscribe down below hit that bell notification and like this video We've got a lot more content coming up soon guys i'll catch you all next week peace out